All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to add coolant or antifreeze to your vehicle. If you find these videos to be helpful or interesting, please subscribe and leave us a comment to let me know what other videos you would like to see. All right, so your coolant reservoir will be different depending on the make and model of your vehicle. This is a Volkswagen Atlas SUV. Uh, and the Volkswagen Atlas, which is a European model of vehicle, this is what the reservoir looks like for your coolant or your antifreeze. Uh, a lot of them, you may notice, has a very similar symbol to the top uh, of the reservoir. And I was going to try to show you, you can see on this one, I'm low on coolant. So this top mark right here is the maximum level that we need the coolant to be at. And again, that you look at this while the engine is cool, uh, not after it's hot and been running. Uh, and this is the minimum level right here. Uh, so you don't want below this level of coolant. And as you can see, my coolant's down right here. So this is gonna need some coolant added to it. If you notice that your uh, vehicle uh, is losing coolant often, then you've probably got a leak in the system or you more than likely have a leak in the system. Uh, and so uh, you may have to uh, try to troubleshoot that yourself or take it to have a mechanic look at it. So we're gonna add some coolant back into the system to get it up in between the desired range and see how it holds up over a week or so um, and then go from there. All right, so I went to auto parts store and got the uh, coolant that's going to go in here. Make sure when you pick out your coolant that you get the correct uh, coolant for your vehicle. So if you look in the uh, owner's manual, it should tell you the exact coolant that you need. As you can see, this is a Volkswagen. Uh, so it's a European vehicle uh, that I have here. It's the violet or purple color. And it says on here, this is for Volkswagens 2008 um, and up. So make sure uh, when you pick out your coolant there's pink there's violet there's blue um, and make sure that it's the one that's rated for your vehicle putting the wrong coolant in there uh, is not a good idea uh, if you can't find the correct coolant and your vehicle is overheating and you've got to add something just add distilled water uh, to it don't put the wrong type of coolant in there uh, if you buy this one it is uh, pre-mixed as you can see on the container says 50 to 50 which is the ratio uh is you know 50 percent uh or one part distilled water and then 50 percent antifreeze uh, and that's the ratio that you want if you're mixing yourself um then make sure you're mixing it one to one but most of the time now when you're buying uh, antifreeze you can buy the ready to to use you can, it's already been pre-mixed for you all right, so we're gonna get ready to put the antifreeze in uh, the reservoir here. Make sure when you're opening this, uh, it is a pressurized system, especially if your uh, engine has been ran anytime soon. You might want to throw a towel or a rag over the top here to when you open it in case something spews out, it will burn you. A lot of vehicles will have a thing on there that says caution hot. Um, and so this one hasn't been ran for a while uh, and I've already kind of opened it so I know it's not pressurized. So this lid will come off. And again, I'm just gonna fill it until we can see the marks here on the side where they need to be. And so I bought a radiator funnel that's gonna make pouring this a lot easier. Uh, your antifreeze is a uh, pretty corrosive, pretty harsh um, you know, chemical. So you might want to make sure that uh, you don't spill this uh, anywhere. Try to clean up what you can. Uh, it's got a sweet taste to it. So if you drop it on the ground, concrete rocks and you got pets outside and nearby they will um, really like it and uh, we'll try to flick it up and it will kill them it's very dangerous so i'm gonna keep filling this up till i'm right at the full mark don't want to overfill it all right so i've got that poured in and I'll grab the, the camera now and show you. So you can see the reservoir marks now. I'm right at the top of the line where it's supposed to be to be filled. So now I'm going to take my funnel out, put my cap back on and secure it.
make sure it's on there good and snug. And that should be all I have to do. All right, so that's got all of uh, my coolant cap back off. I was getting the warning lights on the Atlas letting me know that the coolant was low. Uh, we've got it filled back up now and we should be good to go. So we're gonna run it for about a week and keep a check on it. Make sure that we're not losing coolant. If we're losing large amounts of coolant in the next week, then we know that there is a problem uh, in the, the system and we'll have it checked out. Uh, thanks for, for watching. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, leave us a comment. Let me know any other video you would like to see.